Welcome to G Ball Vision, everyone. Today we are talking about the five best Civivi knives so far in 2023, in my opinion, of course. And I'd like to kick it off with the Civivi Cubit. You have 14C 28N on this leaf shaped blade. It is nice and thin, full flat grind. It, it comes down ultra thin. Dual thumb studs for deployment, as well as your button. This is a button lock, plunge lock. You do have aluminum handles, open construction with a couple standoffs. You have a two-way reversible deep carry steel rollover clip. This is where they miss though, and I've complained about this before. There should be no reason, no excuse that they did not put some sort of black filler tab in here, a black aluminum filler tab. Uh, I think that's a huge miss on their part. This knife is great looking when it is open, with the exception of that area there. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this bottle opener area that they claim, but that doesn't make or break the knife for me. But this area really bothers me. I wish they would have got that under control and put a filler tab in there. But as far as an EDC knife goes, you know, something that is going to be tough. Hold a toothy edge, have some corrosion resistance, be comfortable in hand. The Cubit is going to do all them things very well. They chamfered and softened all the edges. So it is very comfortable in hand. And even with larger hands, you should be able to get a full grip on this guy. And you can get right up behind that edge for some detailed or controlled cutting. Uh, I definitely like the Cubit, but... I feel like Civivi kind of rushed this out the door in a sense. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. This next one is definitely a fan favorite of the channel. The Civivi Vision FG. You have this beautiful sheep's foot blade coming in Nitro V steel. Dual thumb studs for deployment. It's been coated, so the corrosion resistance is going to be good. Edge retention is going to be good. Toughness is going to be just fine. The Snex Super Lock is super fidgety. It is very tough. Uh, it's unique. It is something I really appreciate about knives. The uniqueness of any given knife. And the way this is designed... This is a pure user right here. Uh, this was built to be an EDC knife, a work knife, a, a do everything knife. It would be good in the kitchen. Uh, you know, I'm a huge, huge fan of this knife. It is comfortable. You have my car to handles. You do have speed holes in there so you can kind of see the blade open and close in there. I did opt to throw a titanium milled clip on this one just because of how much I like the knife. It does come with Civivi's standard deep carry steel rollover clip like you see there on the Cubit. It is told for left hand carry as well. So our lefty buddies will be able to carry this. It is a completely ambidextrous knife because of that Snex super lock uh, and for the money. I think these come in right around $70 to $80, depending when and where. Uh, it's a phenomenal EDC knife, and it's going to make it to the end of the year as one of my favorite knives of the year. Uh, no question. Love the Civivi Vision. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. This next one is a Ray Laconico design. The Civivi Sokoki. This came out early in 2023 and has maintained its spot as one of my favorite budget slash affordable knives for the year. Uh, when this first came out and I first got this, I was a huge, huge fan of this knife and that has remained. Uh, it is a phenomenal user. Uh, I've really used the crap out of this knife. This one is coming in 14C 28N. You have that nice drop point blade. It is very spear pointy, very close to a, a spear point. You have dual thumb studs for deployment and a Ray Laconico front flipper, which works extremely well 
for anything that you could do with a front flipper. The thumb studs are placed perfectly. The action is great around that pivot. So Vivi does a good job on the action of their knives. They also do a great job typically on their edges and their geometry. Full flat grind, it is nice and slicey. Pretty thin blade stock, comes down pretty thin. And then you have this unique canvas micarta with a micarta backspacer. You have a Civivi steel rollover clip, deep carry. Uh, most of the knife will be hidden there. It is told for left hand carry as well. Uh, Civivi does usually a pretty good job with including lefties in a lot of their models. Not all, but a lot. The ergos on this are phenomenal. I love the Civivi Sokoki. This is probably, it's definitely in the top five of the year for the best value that Civivi has put out this year. I mean, it's, it's just a, a great, great value. Uh, I only put these rubber bands on here just because only certain thumb studs can you put rubber bands on, and this is one of them knives, so I just threw them on there just because. But uh, the Civivi Sokoki, guys, is definitely one to take a look at. Let's get to the next one. This next one is a collaboration with GTC and Civivi. This is the Hypersonic. Uh, I love this knife. It is just built like an absolute tank. You're getting 14C28N on this sheep's foot blade. You have a nice deep long fuller there for your deployment as well as a rear flipper tab. And it is a steel frame lock. You do have G10 inlays. They have different flavors of all of these knives that you're seeing. You do have a milled steel clip here and it is not going to be told for lefties on this one. Uh, I wish the blade was a little bit taller, but it didn't make or break this knife for me. Uh, I've gotten used to how short the blade is. It, it doesn't affect the performance, in my opinion. You have a little thicker blade stock, but it does come down nice and thin. This was built not to be a slicer, though. This was built to be a workhorse. You have a nice, comfortable handle. You can get two fingers here and then the rest, the other two, back here on this little swell. It is very comfortable. You have a G10 backspacer about halfway up the knife. So that is a good move there on Civivi's part. Uh, this is built like an absolute tank. I believe these come in right around 80 bucks or so. And this is one of the most well-tuned, affordable budget knives that I've handled. It just thwacks, guys. I mean, it is ridiculous how well this thing is tuned. So Vivi knocked this one out of the park, in my opinion, and I'm a pretty big fan of the Hypersonic. Definitely something you could take out and beat on and not have any worry or issue with doing so. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. This next one is a newer release from Civivi, but I absolutely love it. It's the Balsair. You have a 14C 28N compound grind with a Tanto blade. You have a PVD coating here. You have dual thumb studs and a rear flipper tab for the deployment options. It is a liner lock. Uh, you have that same canvasy micarta that the Sokoki has. I really like this stuff. It's unique. Do I want it on every knife? No, I don't. I wish they would have done the pivot on the uh, Balsair like they did the Sokoki. Uh, that would have looked even better in my opinion. I have no idea why they didn't do that with this one. It's the same uh, setup basically. You have open construction. This knife is not small. It's coming in at like nine inches. You do have a two-way reversible pocket clip that's going to be deep carry. It will accept Civivi's milled titanium clips. Uh, this thing is just an absolute beast. You have a hollow grind here, flat grind here, and this is like an inch and three-sixteenths, I believe it is. So there's plenty of edge here to do some work. 
and it is very, very well sharpened from Civivi's factory. And this straight edge portion here is also ultra sharp. The unboxing should be up or will be up when you are seeing this. Uh, it is extremely comfortable in hand because you have a little taller, wider handle here. Uh, this thing, if you're looking for, you know, a bigger knife, you know, you have big hands and you, you need a bigger knife to kind of be comfortable. This is definitely one to take a look at. It's going to slice well. It's going to poke well. You have two edges, two points. Uh, I'm a huge fan of this knife. The only place they missed was not giving a ton of access in there for that liner. I think they should have chamfered this out just a touch more. They did put some, you know, fairly tough jimping in there that will grab you, but I would have rather chamfer this out a little more and then a nice deep chamfer, but it kind of is what it is. It, you know, it don't make or break the knife for me. There's too many good things about this knife. Solid as a rock. Uh, I'm a huge, huge fan of the new Balsair. So we have the Balsair, the Hypersonic, the Sakoki, the Vision, and the Cubit. Let me know down in the comments if you agree with these top five. If you disagree, let me know. Give me a thumbs up before you head out as well. And if you're new to the G-Ball Vision channel or you're here and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below the video. I'd love to have you here. We have tons coming up the pipe. We're about to hit 4K, so we're going to be having some giveaways coming up very soon. I love you guys. I will catch you on the next one.